Hammer speed. Turn the speed. I'm Martine Jalgaard and I'm a fashion designer. I love to work with technology because I think it can change the way we are in the industry. It can make us make better decisions more intelligently and just to be more sustainable, which is very important for me. Yeah, when I read the article about you and, and as a designer, placing transparency at the core of your business, that for me was great. Let's make this happen and bring an, diff, an, another layer, which is the blockchain technology. Yeah. That yeah. can allow that to elevate the story of your products. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I, am, I have to say I'm completely in love with this technology because it, mm -hmm. it really allows you as a brand to tell more of a story. The connection that you create with the end consumer is really valuable because you tell the story and you also give credit to all the people involved in this process. And I think yeah. that's, that's very important because you forget about that journey. It's just the final product and everybody before that, they're, they're sort of forgotten. How did you start thinking about, how did you implement sustainability in the beginning? Well, I think uh, it was about the fiber. Mm -hmm. I learned that fiber depends on how the animals eat, what they eat. Uh, my so it was count, optimizing the quality? Optimizing, keeping them in shelter, cruelty mm -hmm. free. These are very special fiber, which is lanolin free, mm -hmm. it's hypoallergenic. So actually it was almost performance based your yes. decision rather than, it is. but of course also doing the right thing. And, and basing a life around it, so not yes. doing my corporate world, leaving London, coming here, and um, really pursuing my dreams. Yes, yeah. no, I, I really understand Trying to really create something it. different, it's yes. crazy. You just you look at the animals and at the alpacas, and they all have different names. And uh, we've got Skyfall and James Bond and Otella, Otella, Otella yeah. <laughs> yeah. supplying the, the fibers for the project that we are doing. That's right, um, because you chose your colors, so yes. I picked the animals. Every exactly. animal has a name. So really at shearing, we saw the fleece. Mm -hmm. Every animal's uh, name is on the bag, the grade of the fleece and what it's going to be converted into. And you'll see bags of fleece that we've just seen on the, in the yeah. shed, uh, because which are earmarked for product. Yeah. This project involves lots of people, lots of partners, and they're often invisible. And one of those people involved is Phil, who um, has a spinning business called Two River Mills. It was amazing. We went there to see everything, see the transformation of the alpaca fleece um, and how it became a yarn. And it was truly, truly amazing. to future solutions of, of finding better ways to do things and, and, and being more sustainable that we need to be a little bit more open-minded towards solutions and I think alpacas in the UK it's something which you've proven that it works really really well. It and is you particularly can interesting Martin because if you look at Kashmir it comes from Mongolia mm -hmm. and Merino comes from Australia why go all the way there when we can create a product that is exactly. so sustainable here. Aishan from Knits the London studio is doing knitwear swatches and samples and she did the sample for our alpaca blockchain transparency project and it was really interesting to to get everybody there at the same time because it's it's nice to share all the different stages of, of the supply chain. It's extremely brilliant with that because it's it's just the way to 
it's the last step. It's the last link where you say, okay, mm -hmm. this is actually super easy. You can just scan it and you get all the information. Because one of the challenges when you work with new technology is that it can be complicated. And I completely believe that this is the future because Absolutely. consumers, they will be more demanding. And the more projects and the more companies start working like this, consumers will start to expect more. And I think that's actually where we want to go. The theme of the pieces comes from a state of emergency and being fragile. And I've used some fabrics which are very transparent. So I'm using lace from Sophie Hallett. I'm using hemp and linen from Fali Rosati. And also I'm using organic cotton and surplus production materials um, for the pieces. A way to start this understanding and, and going in that direction is really to understand what are we doing, how, how are we making and how are we producing our things. All this information is really important because I think for most consumers there's it's a bit of a blur really. Well this is why it's important to add an extra layer of security on all these claims that companies are doing. We need to understand that as consumers that we are actually paying a premium price perhaps for something that is real, um, sustainable, mm. fair trade and that's something that the blockchain can allow to happen in a more secure and open way.